I'm Becky. We are registered dietitians that are passionate about food as medicine. In this video, we are going to be whipping up a less toxic cocktail, a matcha gin gimlet. Yes, so we love food as medicine, but we also equally love fun and a good time. And the reality is, is that alcohol itself is a toxin. So we do wanna be mindful about our total amount of consumption. And you can check out this video here on drinking intelligently or ways to prevent a hangover. And there's definitely some great tips and tricks in there. But when we're consuming alcohol, we look to consume alcohol that is the least toxic or to consume choices that have maybe some medicinal effects to offset the burden of toxins in the body. So this could be a no added sulfite biodynamic wine like we have from our friends at Dry Farm Wine. In fact, you can check out the link below with Dry Farm Wines, which is Becky and my favorite wine offering. They offer only old world small family farm wines that are lab tested. So we actually see that there is no amounts of glyphosate, which is that Roundup chemical we'll see through out basically all US offered wines and they test for added sugar. These are lower carb and lower toxin options and they actually support a robust healthy microbiome. If you're looking beyond biodynamic or natural wines, you might wanna consider in your spirits, spirits that are clear. More of the barrel aged darker spirits are going to have higher amounts of histamine and this can drive congestion and also more inflammation in the body which could drive more of that aftermath headache. So just as important as the alcohol choice itself being clean and less toxic, we want to ensure what we're mixing that alcohol with is also not a toxin. So we're talking about things like sparkling water, we could use kombucha, or in this cocktail we're going to be using some coconut water. So starting off as our base, we're going to use coconut water. We're going to use two ounces and this cocktail is for two servings. So coconut water is going to add a little bit of a subtle sweetness. It's also rich in potassium and it's going to be providing us a nice base of electrolytes. This is important because, and it adds a nice little pink hue, yeah. this unfiltered coconut water. Uh, potassium and electrolytes are important because alcohol itself is a diuretic and a lot of the bad effects of alcohol have to do with dehydration. So getting an electrolyte in your cocktail, bonus points there. Next up, I'm gonna add in the juice of two limes as a really nice antioxidant boost. In fact, we know that alcohol consumption in and of itself is going to deplete your master antioxidant glutathione. So adding in those vitamin C rich juices can help to replete glutathione. Fabulous, and that'll add a little bit of a citrus zing in there. And then I'm gonna add in kind of the star of the show or what makes this super unique, the matcha. So matcha is stone ground green tea leaves. You're gonna actually get 10 times the amount of L-theanine, which is that amino acid that aids in alpha brain waves, mellowing out anxiety, which can be important because sometimes we overconsume alcohol if we're feeling like social awkwardness. Um, so getting that L-theanine can mellow you out mood wise. And also we get 10 times the amount of the EGCG, that antioxidant that we know supports metabolism and also will help to offset the effect of the oxidative stress of the alcohol itself. Our alcohol of choice in this cocktail is going to be a clear spirit. We love gin because this is actually made with different botanicals. So this brand, The Botanist, actually uses 22 different botanicals in it, including juniper berry, which can have beneficial impact on our microbiome. Isn't it gin that you say makes you smarter? I think it makes me smarter. All right, so we're getting four ounces of the gin in there because this is two cocktails again, so about two ounces each. And a gimlet is kind of like a martini, so it is a little bit on the stronger side. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. What's next? All right, let's shake it up. Okay, switch sides so you get that other oh. bottle. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah, working on my ambidexterity and all the things. All right, uh, and so we're gonna pour this into there and then we do have an aromatic herb, basil. Um, I think I've seen some mixologists do this little clap move where I guess that opens up the cell walls and so you're gonna get more of the aromatics. So I would suggest looking cool, um, like I just did while shaking, and then, you know, give a good slap to that basil and you could top off each cocktail with a leaf. Let's slap our basil. All right. That looks fun. 
All right, let's give it a whirl. Cheers. Mmm. I love the balance of the lime with the matcha because that tannin component of the matcha can often come off bitter, but the acidity really brightens it up. And you can still note all of those botanical notes of the gin. I think it's a winner. And I can taste the basil because we slapped it or clapped it. Love it. Perfect. <laughs> We're doing it right. Uh, go ahead and give this cocktail a try and let us know what you think. Also, as I mentioned in our hangover prevention episode, you might want to make sure if you are consuming alcohol that you have our Reset, Restore, Renew detox packs on hand. So you can also check out a link for those below. Go ahead and like this video and make sure you're subscribed to the Naturally Nourished YouTube channel to stay ahead of our bi-weekly releases. Cheers. Cheers. Of coconut water. Got grip that. strength. Grip strength. Yeah. Okay. Number um, one indication. Sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't roll. Right? I couldn't roll with it. I'm not good at that. Okay, let me try to do a better. Okay. Two limes next up. Doesn't need. It's to already measured. Again. Yeah, it's already measured. Yeah. We're so organic. I know. I love it.